Yes. No one else but, but your client and his face will be cut. Understood. Okay. All right. With that admonition, uh, please go forward. Thank you, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed, and I assume I will talk slowly for the interpreter. We have read and received a copy of the complaint. Mr. Ramirez's true name and date of birth appear thereon. He waives formal reading. He has been advised of his constitutional rights. Enters pleas of not guilty, denials to any and all allegations, and requests appointment of the primary public defender. We would request due course state. And Your Honor, I am in receipt of a pretrial service report recommending SOR for Mr. Romero. I have gone over the SOR admonishment with him, and I have included potentially a fourth waiver, not knowing or possessing controlled substance, and then potentially not knowingly contacting directly or indirectly the minor based off the complaint. On that, um, I have more information if the court would like it. Okay, not guilty plea for Mr. Romero. Deny any and all allegations. True name and date of birth appear. And then on the issue of bail, Ms. Williams? Yes, Your Honor. Um, I believe that bail, uh, the defendant was booked on $70,000 bail. I believe that it's proper that bail remain as set. Um, just to give the court a little bit of background with regard to the defendant. Um, in reviewing his um, criminal history, the officer noted that he had at least nine different AKAs, two different date of births. He has a number of arrests for providing false identification to law enforcement has several theft convictions. Most are from Northern California. Um, also, he was staying in a San Diego hotel at the time, and um, so the people are concerned that he is a flight risk. Um, he indicated that the ID that he did have was lost, and that he used the fake ID to, um, one of the fake IDs to purchase the Mini Cooper that he was seen driving in the surveillance videos. Um, also, uh, notable is that all of the thefts, uh, the prior arrests, have all occurred outside of San Diego, San Diego County. Um, ultimately, the defendant was arrested when uh, law enforcement stopped a 15-year-old female runaway uh, from Alameda County that was driving his vehicle. Um, he was living with the runaway in a hotel room with... Uh, drugs and drug paraphernalia. We believe that this shows an extreme lack of judgment on his part. Um, in addition, the, uh, the, the theft in this case involves the theft of a catalytic converter. Um, the individual was uh, apprehended by using neighborhood surveillance footage and the surveillance footage, when it was initially posted on a social media app, I believe it's called Nextdoor, other neighbors or concerned citizens also shared with the victim and law enforcement in this case. And the time capture of the, uh, the date and time that this vehicle was in the area shows a pattern of, uh, of casing areas for the catalytic converters. Um, why, are, why the catalytic converters and why the Prius? They, are, um, they contain precious metals, and they're valuable due to the supply and demand, and oftentimes um, they're being drained and sent out. And so um, we do believe that he's a flight risk. He has no ties to San Diego. He... Um, after the theft on the 8th, he continued to stay in the San Diego area um, and cased other neighborhoods. He was found at a hotel, and um, we do believe that based on him providing uh, a number of different AKAs to law enforcement, that he uh, is a flight risk. Can you have briefly respond? Yes, Ms. Stevens. Thank you, Your Honor. If the court is not inclined to grant SOR, I would ask that the court consider reducing bail in light of Humphreys, as the court can see Mr. Romero is um, homeless and self-reported 
transit on the pretrial service report. And he also does have ties to San Diego. He has indicated to me he has family here, including two, two children. So on that, I would submit. All right, Mr. Stevens. Well, obviously, uh, Ms. Williams has provided some uh, information that was on the pretrial services report, uh, obviously because it went to some of the police conduct that pretrial services wouldn't have access to. Um, I, I don't know if I'd say that your client was, uh, was homeless. He was in a hotel uh, and um, assumed he paid for that. Um, so based on the, some of the things I've heard from Ms. Williams, I'm going to leave the bail at a set. Um, uh, Ms. Uh, Williams, uh, it looks like Mr. Romero may also be on probation uh, at Sonoma. I don't know if you noticed that, Ms. Stevens. It looks like he has a case up in Sonoma that he's on probation for. So hopefully the bail is set and we'll set future court dates. Rating this conference set on October 7, 2021. 